Hey guys, what's going on? So, uh, I want to talk a little bit about a couple of videos that have been out about uh, the Clive and Bundy Ranch and how uh, everybody should have just dropped everything that they did and headed out there. And I do respect the fact that, you know, uh, the people's rights are much more important than our jobs and, you know, stuff like that. In reality, if that if if it came down to it of course that would be the situation but uh i think and and for those of you that are trying to associate this with the video that i'm talking about understand one thing i'm subbed to those guys i've broken bread with one of them several times uh i share a bloodline with one of them um i have mad respect for those guys uh i just i just want to put out there that you know what sometimes you just can't do it you know th this is one of those situations that had I dropped everything that that I was doing with my job and headed up there um, I would have been pretty much useless up there uh, minus you know adding numbers which is a big deal uh, pardon the neighborhood fight um, behind me some neighbors you just can't uh, fix, but um, you know I'm I'm in a situation where uh, I'm the breadwinner here, and if I had just walked away from my job or said I'm taking vacation, I can't. Uh, this is my busy busy season, much less uh, to be able to afford to get there. Um, I was there in spirit. I you know, made a video talking about uh, Clive Bundy and, and, you know, how he was kind of portrayed in the uh, uh, media. And I tried to do what I could. Um, but to say that just about anybody but those that are direly ill should have been there, that's kind of reaching. Uh, it, we don't all have that ability um, and I respect those guys for being able to go up there and I'm, I'm thankful they did and I'm thankful for the videos that they did so please don't take this as a disrespect to them that's not what it is I just want to put out there for for several of you that may feel guilty for not being able to be there you know what if shit had turned out way worse and things had gotten down and it turned into the real deal, okay, yeah, then I pick up arms and I get on the road. Uh, but they didn't. I would have lost my job had I gone. And then where am I at? I cannot provide a roof over my wife's head. I cannot provide food for my wife. It's it's a tough situation. It's really hard to decide when it's time to pick up arms and move. Um, to me, this one, it was just not there yet. I think this was a, a great example uh, and a, a, an awesome slap in the face to BLM and the government on the American people standing up. Uh, because had it not been for these guys and everybody else showing up there, they would have walked over them just like they did everybody else that they have because there's many, many other stories of them doing the exact same thing, but it didn't get the attention that this one did. So I guess that's what I want to say, but, uh, you know, I don't know if uh, the guys that made that video watch my videos. I'm sure they probably don't. One of them might, but uh, mad respect for you guys for showing up up there, doing your thing, but understand that, it's not something that all of us can do uh, at the drop of a hat. So that's about it. Y'all have a good one, and um, take her easy.